So here we go, walking down the street, the mighty Mansfield is going to get something to eat. Welcome back to the Mighty Mansfield Show. So I am going to go and get something to eat today. It's um, it's a really hot day today in the UK and well, I'll tell you how hot it actually is. No, I won't because I've got no phone reception here. I'm parked in the woods and... You know, I've got out of the sun basically. It's that hot. It's about 27 degrees today in the UK, and that's that's pretty hot for for our country. But tomorrow is going to be even hotter. Anyway, I'm going to go and get something to eat because, yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry now. I'm just sorting out a few things, and um, I fancy a bacon sarni. To be fair. Right, so here we are. We're at Square Deal, uh, Square Deal Calf, and that is on the A4, going towards Maidenhead, just outside of Reading. I'm just going to go in there and get myself a bacon sandwich. Right, so I've just parked up out of the way because it's by the A4, so it's quite a busy road, and all you get is the whoosh whoosh of all the cars and that. So, what I've done is I've got myself a bacon sandwich and some chips from a cafe called Square Deal Cafe. And to be fair, it was proper like old school, like greasy spoon, if you like, you know, done breakfasts and all that. I'll show you what I've got in a minute. I've just got to say something. Now, they said to me, do you want sauce? And I said no, because I don't like that vinegary kind of sort of cheapish um, style tomato sauce. And the other thing I, I, I like, and I don't know if anybody agrees with me on this one, is I like my tomato ketchup out of a glass bottle. I don't know why when I was a kid they used to sell big jars of tomato ketchup that my gran used to have in her cupboard and you'd get it out of a spoon and you'd spoon it on and it always tasted better out of glass I don't know if that's true or not but it does in my opinion it does anyway I'll show you what I've got so this cost me £7.50 so they're the fries look another napkin I also got some napkins out of the counter and I've got a wooden fork I'm not going to use a fork but I thought I'd have it anyway so we put that We'll put that in here for another day, for the takeaways that don't provide them. Right, so I've got a bacon sandwich as well, which, yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard, really. And that's basically what we're having. So I bring my own ketchup, and I, I don't know, I think it looks much, I think it tastes much better out of the old bottle, but, you know, let me know in the comments below whether you do or not. So I've quick on these chips first before putting the ketchup on. They're pretty standard. I've got to say they're pretty standard. Um, that's the bacon in there, which I've got to be honest, I like mine a little bit more cooked than that. It would have been nice to have had the option. So the chips aren't the best I've ever had. Now bear in mind this is this is seven pound fifty for a bacon sandwich and, and some some chips. To be fair, the actual bacon sandwich does taste alright. The bacon's quite nice. And I think with the addition of the glass ketchup, or the ketchup out of a glass bottle, I think, yeah, it ain't bad at all. It's, it's alright. It's not, I mean, it's not going to win any any awards, is it? But it ain't bad. I think the trouble nowadays is a lot of these places, they've got to charge these prices because... They, otherwise, they won't make any money. It's out of business. So, yeah, it ain't bad. It's all right. Typical greasy spoon, like. But they did a big breakfast in there, and that was like, I think that was like twelve quid. I mean, it had a lot on it, but I don't know. I would go back there to this place. It, it's it's all right. It's nothing to write home about. But I've been watching like videos on people spending six hundred odd pound on on steaks. Where do you get 600 quid to spend on a steak? The average person will be able to do that. So I think that's why I go to these places because A, I can't afford to spend 600 pound on a steak and B, it's not a reality, is it? Yeah, this ain't bad. It's a, um, it's just a typical greasy spoon. It's under new management, it said on the sign when I went in. And yeah, I'd go back there. If I wanted a greasy spoon breakfast, I'd go there. It's not, it's not that bad at all, actually. Um, but it is very standard. I like the fact that, so the carton, the takeaway carton, that was that um, sent by degradable stuff, so yeah, you know, no polystyrene. Did come in a plastic bag, but 
most of it is recyclable, so yeah, it ain't, bad, it ain't, it ain't too bad from a, from a grease spoon, is it? So yeah, square deal calf on the A4, uh, just as you're approaching Maidenhead. Oh, I'm going to give that a score, and I'm going to give it a score. It was average, so I've had a lot worse, I've had a lot better. Um, so I'm going to score that 7. You know, if you're around the area, it's, it's not too bad. You know, but it, it was just an average, average calf, really. So what I'm going to do now, it's absolutely scorching hot today. I'm in the shade and I'm still melting. So I'm going to go and get myself some ice cold beers and we're going to go and have beer of the week. Right, so I'm back in the back garden and I'm going to do beer of the week. Now, I just went and got a bacon sandwich at the Square Deal Calf. And that's on the A4 going towards uh, Maidenhead. It was all right. It used to be, so it used to be the main trunk road before the M4 went in. And it's, um, so it used to be a really busy, greasy spoon by all accounts. Lots of parking and that there. It was all right, you know, nothing to write home about. But I think I scored about seven. Right, beer of the week. I've gone for a classic. I like it. I have it all the time. And most people will be familiar with it. Standard Stella Artois. So I believe it's about 29 degrees now, um, so it is really hot. Cheers. That hits the spot. I've got to say, Stella Ottawa is usually my go-to beer. I've started to drink a bit of Madre now, um, but I find I reach for Stella quite a lot of the time. It's pretty standard lager, premium strength lager, so it's about 4%, yeah, 4.6%. But on a day like today, in this, when it's this hot, it's just a nice cold beer in, in, in the garden is, is, yeah, it's what you want to be doing. So I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but there's a plane's just gone over and some, sometimes it's quite hard work getting these videos because we're getting the video with the shed door backdrop, which I know a lot of people like. So I live on a main flight path into Heathrow and they're constantly circling around waiting to get down. So. Yeah, sometimes, and, and also I've got a few little airports around me that send up, you know, those sort of biplanes that do all the, the twists and rolls in the sky and that, but they're, but they're noisy. So, yeah, sometimes I, I struggle to get the old backdrop, but but we'll get there in the end. Right, so I'm going to finish my beer, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Cheers.